Hello and welcome back. So, welcome back to another video in the series of wiring up the Firelight ES50X addressable control panel. So now, in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to wire in an addressable smoke detector. So, yeah, this is a Honeywell slash Firelight uh, photoelectric smoke detector. Let me pull off the head. Yeah, here is the model of the smoke detector. So, just like in the last video, we are still going to be using a Class B SLC configuration. So, I'm going to show you guys how to add in the addressable smoke with the Class B SLC. So first, before we do any of that, First, we need to make sure the system is powered down, just like last time, before changing any of the wiring configuration. So, just like last time, first, I uh, disconnected the battery of the alarm panel, and then I cut the AC power, and the system is shut down. So, always be sure that the system is shut down completely before changing any wiring configuration. So, as mentioned in the previous video, the way Class B SLCs work is essentially each device that gets wired in is just going to daisy chain off one another, and then the end of line resistor goes at the last device. So, the way that we're going to add in the smoke is it's literally just going to be daisy chaining. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's literally just going to daisy chain right off this pull station, just right off of the same B plus and negative terminals there. And then we're also going to move that resistor to the smoke since it'll be the last device. And then that's basically all we're going to have to do in terms of the wiring. So I have also pre made myself a wire jumper here. If you need a reminder on how to strip the wire, please reference the previous video in this series when I was adding in the pull station. Alright, so here is the pull station wiring now. So like I said, the wire going to the smoke is just going to daisy chain right off the same positive and negative terminals from the previous device, in this case the pull station. And also the end of line resistor. Yeah, I'm taking that off the pull station, and that's going to get moved to the smoke detector once we finish wiring that up. Alright, so here is the base of the smoke detector. So you see right next to this terminal, you see positive. So that is where the blue wire is going to go, since we used blue as B plus on the SLC, as mentioned in the previous video. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the blue wire in that positive terminal. <clears throat> and since we used red as negative on the SLC, it's going to be going in this terminal right here. That just actually doesn't have any marking next to it. I mean, that one says RA, but that's something unrelated. So this is the negative terminal right here. <clears throat> and now that both of those wires in there... Um, or sorry, now that both of those wires are in there, now we need to put the end of line resistor bridging across those two terminals and those two wires. Likewise, just like that. Alright, so the last thing we have to do before putting on the smoke detector head is we need to set an address on it, just like on the pole station. So here on the back of the smoke detector head, those two knobs are the address knobs, just like you saw on the inside of the pull station. So it doesn't have it labeled here for some reason, but usually this side is 10s and this side is 1s. And just like last time, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to turn a knob, just like that. So since we already have a device that has address 1 on it, I'm going to make this simply address 2. 
likewise. Then we're gonna twist on the head. Likewise. Alright, so now the moment of truth. Uh, a power on test. So I'm going to energize the fire panel and see if both of these devices come to life. Oh, I thought I saw a light there. I think it was blinking. Oh, yeah, definitely have some lights on there now, and the pool station's alive too now. Yeah, it's just figure out, figuring out which color it wants to pull in first. I'm guessing that a solid light on the smoke means initializ um, that it's initializing. Well, it appears the panel's booted up now. It's just trying to beep about troubles and whatnot. Like I said in the last video, the piezo doesn't exactly work the way it's supposed to. Let's just acknowledge that, make it stop. But it does say trouble unused point, so that's usually a good sign, so it is seeing that the smoke detector is there. All right, so now we're gonna get into programming in the smoke detector into the system. So, just like last time to access programming, we're gonna hit the menu button and then select option two for programming mode. And then just like last time, the password is all five zeros. We're gonna select option two for point program we're going to add a detector this time, so that's option number one. Hit one for add. And since we set the address knob to address two, it's going to be zero, zero, two. And it's going to be the first option, just detector, because this is definitely not wireless. And now it's going to uh, let us select the type. So, since this is a photoelectric smoke, looks like looks like the first option is what we want. And just like that, it says yet yeah, the detector is added. So now we're just gonna back out of this, keep hitting escape. All right, and now the system is uh, configuring the SLC loop. All right, so now the system is back up, and just by watching the smoke detector, it looks like it is pulling just like it should. I want to keep it, keep the camera rolling to catch that occasional rapid pull that it does. Oh, yep. Yeah. There it was, kind of. I mean, it looks like the camera frame rate was a little bit too low to catch each individual blink, but the fact that on the camera it was glowing for a second, that was resembling the fact that it was blinking rapidly. So, yep, yeah, it is indeed pulling like it should, and the system is not giving us trouble about a missing point anymore. So, it sees that it's there. So now, the moment of truth, an operational test. And, well, this detector doesn't, doesn't even have like a button to push to test it or anything. So we're gonna test it the more fun way already using smoke check. I'm just gonna give it a whiff of this. Make it trigger. Oh, 
Oh, yep, there we go. You have the lights are solid, meaning that it triggered, and the panel is now an alarm. So, the smoke detector is functioning as it should. So, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching, and hope to catch you in the next one.